Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, what's up? My name's Courtney Marie. Today we're doing a review slash tutorial of the Allen's X Sports Girl Beauty uh, Chocolate Freckles Eyeshadow Palette. This is a scented eyeshadow palette themed around the lolly freckle. Um, Allen's is obviously a lolly company. They have a bunch of different products here in Australia and a freckle is a beautiful little chocolate button that is covered in uh, sprinkles and they are very delicious. So this is what the packaging looks like. It has sprinkles on the front with little gold uh, detailing and obviously both logos here on the front. The back has a sort of visual representation of all the shades, a little bit of information about the collaboration, the Allen's logo and then the price which is $29.95. Sports Girl is cruelty free uh, and yeah, it says basically just that they're cruelty free. It has a 12 month lifespan. It has all the detailing in terms of how much product you get, etc. I have used this palette twice to create two different looks, which I will leave right now up on the screen for you to check out. I did a more berry uh, red look and then a cool tone, uh, very neutral look. So this is what the palette looks like when you open it up. It does run on the cool side um, with the exception of the pink and orange matte. You have mostly shimmer shades, some beautiful shimmers and obviously a glitter shade down the bottom. So instead of just skipping ahead to the eyes, I thought I would super quickly do my face on camera with you guys just to turn this into more of a tutorial rather than just doing the eyeshadow and giving you my opinions on the palette. So let's get started. If this is something that you're interested in, then keep on watching. I will leave, it, leave a timestamp down below as to when the actual eyeshadow application begins so that you can skip ahead if that's all that you're interested in. So first I'm taking the Glow Illuminating Serum Primer by Sports Girl. This is one of my absolute favorite primers. You guys know I've used this for a long time. This is my second bottle. I'm just taking a tiny bit of the Revolution Pro Blur Stick and I'm just applying that to my blemishes that I currently have just to smooth them out a bit and make it a little bit easier for makeup application. This is the Revolution Pro Conceal and Define Concealer in the Super Size shade. So I just did my brows off camera and I'm just applying some blush. This is the Tarte uh, Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in Ohana. I am just blending that into the skin right now. I do like to go quite heavy on the blush as a lot of you would know. I love looking a little bit clown-esque with my blush. I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit of bronzer. I'm dipping into the Too Faced Natural Face Palette. And dipping into Sunny Honey. And just adding a little bit of bronze to the skin. Alright, now that I am bronzed, I'm going to highlight and I'm going to be taking a newer highlight to my collection and that is the Physician's Formula Butter Highlighter in the shade Pearl. This is what she looks like. She is absolutely beautiful. Um, the lid just unscrews um, and the pan is it little waves but the formula of this is actually like a putty if I just press there you can see uh, it is really really beautiful so I'm gonna go ahead and apply some to the skin This smells like coconut. It is beautiful and 
winding and I absolutely love it. If you guys seen my uh, favorite highlighting formulas video, this is definitely one to add to that list. So I've just moved in a tiny bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. I just took the shade 100s, which is this cream color here, and set the eyeshadow base that I put down. I did use the Urban Decay Primer Potion. This is a pretty standard formula. A lot of people use this or a lot of people have used this in the past. Uh, so I feel like it is a good primer to use and it will give a true representation of what the shadows will look like. I always go in with eye primer whether it is concealer or an actual formulated primer for the eyes. I always use something. I never do my shadow uh, on bare skin. I just think that putting a concealer or a primer down first works best for me. So looking at the palette, I think I am just going to do a cool tone neutral look again today. Um, just because I feel like this is a pretty wearable palette and a lot of people that will be purchasing this will be purchasing it for the wearable shades uh, more so than the colourful shades down the bottom. So I'm first going to take for breakfast, which is this cool tone brown colour here. And I'm going to apply that in the crease. Alright, so I'm now going to take the shade 3PM Fix, which is a slightly more darker brown. And I'm just deepening up what we already have so I'm just dipping back into for breakfast and I'm just running that underneath the eye I usually use quite a precise uh, under eye brush for this, but I want this to be very much smoked out. Alright, so now that we've applied that shade, I'm going to switch to a little bit more of a precise brush dip into chalk button and deepen up that level of smoke all right so i just cut my lid with a little bit of the too faced shadow insurance eye primer now i'm gonna take a shimmery shade on the lid i'm not sure what to use i'm tossing up between bite-sized and smooth bite size is a little bit more warm tone whereas smooth is cool tone so i think i'm going to take that but i can't decide if i want to use the glitter or not today so i'm just going to pick up some of smooth it does have a lot of kickback in the pan and i'm just going to wet my brush I'm just wiping the excess water on the back of my hand, picking up some more and applying it to the lid. So I just applied some of the glitter, as you can see, just called Sweet Tooth. I'm now going to take the shade All Mine, which is this shimmery bone color and I'm just going to highlight the brow bone and now I'm going to dip into thousands and highlight my inner so as I said, this is the finished look. I really, really enjoy it and I really like this palette a lot more 
than what I thought I was going to. It is more on the cool tone side and I never wear cool tones, but I'm really loving this look. I'm loving this palette. I am going to do some swatches now for you guys, but in terms of the price, this is $29.95. I think it is worth it. You get some absolutely beautiful shades in here. Um, just a really nice variety. I'm going to swatch them for you right now and we will see how they look. But yeah, I'm very impressed with the formula so far. If you guys want to see any more videos with this, do let me know. I'm pretty sure on Sports Girl Online there is a sale right now. So you can get this for $23 instead of $29, which is an even better deal. It is really, really beautiful. Alright, so I'm first taking the shade Freckle. I have nothing on my fingers. This is what it looks like. Family size. N1000. So this is what they look like swatched on the finger. So that is with going over it once and with smoothing it out, it looks like this. There is a tiny bit of skipping at the end here, but nothing major. That is what the pink looks like with one swipe and smoothed out. Again, pretty good for a matte shade. A thousand. That is what it looks like with one swipe dry. And smoothed out is pretty. Chalk buddy, no sharing, and delicious. They look like Have this. Candy coated, which looks like this. A hundred, which looks like this. And all mine which looks like this. So first I'm taking Candy Coated. Oof, that is a really nice shade. That is just one swipe. My finger was dry as well. A thousand, no, a hundred is a cream matte shade. It barely picked up anything at all. I'm just gonna go back in just so that you guys can see what the color looks like. It is just a cream matte, so you don't need it to be like boom in your face pigment you can just build it up this shade oh my goodness this is beautiful next is the shade what was that one called all mine not as stunning but still really good this so this is bite sized this is smooth and this is give me more all with one slip as you can see, they're a little bit chunky, but really, really metallic and blinding. I absolutely love this shade. And for breakfast, and then we have creamy as well. So that is those shades swatched there. Then we have classics and chalk button which is swatched there. So those are all the shades in this palette. This is what it looks like after swatching. I highly recommend this palette, honestly. I think it is really good value for money. It is beautiful. You have a pressed glitter in there, but you don't have to use it, um, but it is an option and the formula is nice. Like I said, I did use it in the more pink toned look. I used more glitter glue in that one and I had no fallout at all. Um, I didn't use enough glitter glue today and I do have a lot of glitter fallout unfortunately but that's just my mistake um, because I didn't use enough glitter glue as I've said so yes thank you guys so much for watching this video I really enjoyed filming it I really like this palette and I think that the sports girl formula has improved even more from the last time I purchased a palette because it was a long time ago um, and it sort of sparked my love for sports girl eyeshadows again so i'm definitely gonna keep my eye out for anything that they release um because yeah this is a very very beautiful palette um with some really pretty shades so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i'm sorry it was a bit all over the place um i just don't have a desk in front of me to put anything on so i have to like just have stuff everywhere and it's a bit all over the shop so but i really appreciate your support and you guys watching and i will see you in the next one